Hello everyone, welcome to AKPZ IT Tech. Today I am going to explore how to connect an OLED display with Raspberry Pi 0W. For this connectivity, I am going to implement IQC communication. So, no more waiting, let's start. Let's find out the components required for this project. One PIR motion sensor, one 1.3 inch OLED display and Raspberry Pi 0W board. Let's go through the structure of 40 GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi 0 W. For this project, I am going to implement I2C communication. For I2C, we require two pins, one STA, another one SCL. STA for data transmission and SCL for clock signal. So just remember, for SDA, we need to use pin number three. So this is the location of the pin, it's three. And for SCL, we need to use the pin at location 5. That's it. I have connected one PIR motion sensor with Raspberry Pi 0 W. Let's connect the 5 volt DCC pin of PIR sensor to the pin number 2 of Raspberry Pi 0 W. That's going to supply the 5 volt source. Next, the data pin connected with the pin number 8 and it's GPIO 14. Next, the ground pin and here it's 6. After PIR motion sensor, let's connect the OLED display with the Raspberry Pi 0W. In OLED display, we have 4 pins. 1 SCA for clock information, SDA for transmitting data, DCC for power and 1 ground pin. First, connect the SCL pin of OLED display with the SCL pin of Raspberry Pi 0W and that's available at pin 5. Connect the SDA pin of OLED display with the SDA pin of Raspberry Pi 0W that's available at pin 3. Connect the 3.3 volt power source of Raspberry Pi 0W with the VCC of OLED display. And next, the ground pin. You can connect the ground pin with pin 6 or alternatively you can connect with pin number 9. So this is the complete circuit diagram. After the circuit diagram, it's time to power on the Raspberry Pi 0 W and open VNC remote desktop viewer to access the Raspberry Pi 0 W board. The Raspberry Pi 0 W system is ready, but before using the OLED display, we need to install the necessary drivers. For that, let's open the Google and search for Luma OLED Raspberry Pi. Let's go to the first link. Here, you will find all the necessary documents to install the driver for your OLED display. Right now, I am using 1.3 inch display. For that, I need SH1106 driver. Okay, so let's start the process to install the necessary drivers for the OLED display. First, go to the software option. Open a terminal in your Raspberry Pi 0 W system. Next, Follow the steps to install the library files. It will take couple of seconds to complete the process. In my system, all the necessary files are already installed. That's why requirement already satisfied information message is coming. So don't worry if the first step is not successfully completed. You can try the alternative ones. Now it's time to execute the code. So where is the code? Let's go to the Python usage. But before that, you need to enable the I2C communication in your Raspberry Pi 0 W. How to do that? Let's go to the terminal again. To enable the I2C communication, 
Let's use the command sudo raspy config. Next, go to the interface options. Select. Next, go to I2C communication. Select yes and hit enter. Fine, the I2C interface right now successfully enabled in my system. Select OK. Finish the process and let's go back to the terminal. I have modified the code that's available in the website lumaoled.readthedocs.io. This is the sample code you can use. So let's go to the terminal again to export the code. One thing you need to remember, depending on the display size, you need to use the driver. Here I am using 1.3 inch OLED display and for that the appropriate driver is SH1106. So don't forget to identify the proper driver for your OLED display otherwise it will not work. There is another OLED display that's 0.96 inch and the driver is SSD1306. One simple logic here, whenever motion is detected, the text motion detected and AKP's IT tape will be displayed in the OLED display. Here I have used a delay of 2.5 seconds. Now the code is complete. Let's execute the code. The code is running successfully. Whenever I am placing my fingers in front of the PIS sensor, the OLED is on. And remember here I have placed a delay of 2.5 seconds. Okay, 